Will the Economy Collapse 2015, Steve Becco Illuminati structures are falling all over the planet and no statistic tells the story in sharper detail than the deaths that are occurring in key cabal areas. The Illuminati appear to be taking anyone with them who could do further damage to them. The number of bankers and scientists who've died in the recent past, going on statistics from, mid-2013 in the case of bankers, from 2014 in the case of scientists, seems to tell the story. Approximately 65 bankers have died in suspicious circumstances since that time, from being rammed by cars while riding a bicycle, to hearts suddenly stopping, 1, to leaping or being pushed from buildings. 2. One banker is said to have died from seven or eight self-inflicted wounds from a nail gun fired into his torso and head. 3. I don't know about you, but if I received one wound in my finger from a nail gun, I'd be totally incapacitated. I'm not sure how a person could shoot seven or eight nails into his torso and then his head. But these reports are published mostly without comment or question. Approximately 74 scientists have died in the past two years. 4. Some have been tropical disease experts, AIDS, Ebola, others working on high security projects, others working on space related projects. Some have been people who began to suspect that they were working on black projects and tried to withdraw, only to be killed. We know that many pandemics, AIDS, Ebola, SARS, swine flu, avian flu, etc., were created by the black ops folks at Fort Detrick. 5. Are these deaths an attempt to prevent whistleblowing or hide past sins? Many commentators look at the chaos and turmoil that's occurring and predict the complete collapse of society or the economy. Here's an example, Jim Rickert's claiming to speak with the sanction of every national security agency in the US. Put your shields up before watching. Is our society or the economy going to collapse? The answer, according to our sources, is no. A distinction must be made between the collapse of the Illuminati structures and the collapse of social and economic structures generally. Jesus said last summer that the final wars and conflicts will enter into a phase of self-destructive collapse or meltdown from which the cabal will not recover. 6. We're in that phase now, but it doesn't mean that everything will fall. To the largest extent, institutions will be reformed, as Archangel Michael discusses here. I am not speaking of the collapse of financial systems, which would cause panic and disarray. But what we are talking about is reorganization. Now, usually reorganization is a bureaucratic term for shuffling the deck with the same cards. That is not what I am referring to. We are talking about reorganization of financial systems, political financial systems, bureaucratic financial systems global financial systems that are becoming more congruent with the divine qualities of equity, of fairness, of ethical behavior, of charity, of prudence, and of becoming. 7. Matthew Ward explained that the foundations of the new economy are already laid under the foundations of the old. The global economy, which is a product of smoke and mirrors, to use your term, is irreparable. The foundation of the new system has been slid under the old so that when its collapse comes, the new foundation will be well established. That will enable the transition from the old system to the new to come about without the dam breaking. 8. He reassured us that those who will direct the new economy are ready to take the helm. The teeter-tottering of the international economy cannot be sustained much longer, nor can the history of its control by the Illuminati's illegal manipulations remain hidden much longer. They are using obscure legal processes to hold on to their ill-gotten fortunes. Thus we cannot tell you when the economic collapse will come. However, the time cannot be far off because many nations are bankrupt or on the verge, and their leaders and economists know that there is no financial backing for the daily computer transactions in the trillions of dollars and other currencies. When the collapse does come, Welcome it in the knowledge that those who will direct the new system are at the ready and during the transition will keep financial disruptions to a minimum. You can lessen the anxiety of those around you by remaining positive, and you can do that confidently, knowing that Earth's golden age is right around the corner. 9. SALUSA offered a similar picture. Already the foundations are in place for a quick change, 
where your financial systems are concerned. Our allies in many countries are agreed on a plan for a metals-backed currency, and the end of the paper currency that has led you into bankruptcy. 10. At the end of 2012, he said. Your present government, along with others largely in your Western world, are near to being replaced and it is an important move that will enable so many other things to go forward. They cannot handle the present crisis brought about by the collapse of a number of banks, and the corrupt systems used by them to bolster their own profits through false trading. The answers are already known to us, and the new ways are prepared and ready for implementation at very short notice. 11. And finally Saul encouraged us not to feel despondent at the changes that are occurring. Do not become upset as the markets flounder and then founder, as this will only be a temporary destabilization which is a necessary precursor to the establishment of the new worldwide monetary and financial system. The new system will enable the distortions and errors which the inadequacies of your present system allowed and encouraged to be set to rights. Then, true global cooperation of a completely harmonious nature, and that is good for all and good for the planet, will be possible and will come into operation. As economic stability returns, safety valves will be installed to ensure that the liquidity of the financial system can no longer be threatened or drained away by unseen or unexpected leaks. 12. So the fall of the Illuminati economy has been planned and carried out. But that does not mean the fall of the international economy generally. The foundations of the new economy have been laid and its leaders are ready to take charge quickly and ease the new economy into operation. The new economy will solve the problems that have plagued us for so many decades and reverse the trend of concentrating money in ever fewer hands.